Good morning, students. We are now studying in front of you with this week's class, social studies. First lesson, you have already learned, and I hope you are doing the homework and learning the question answers and exercises. And previously, we learned what is solar system and how many planets are there in the solar system, and you know the names of it, and you learned what is solar system. What is an orbit? What is horizon? Everything you have learned. And now we go to the textbook. And I hope you are reading the textbook daily and preparing it for TPS. And again, this week I am coming with the second lesson: oceans and continents. And if you get a chance to go out somewhere for tour, which place would you choose? Definitely, I know you will choose the best places. Like Malaysia, Singapore, like that, because you want to see all parts of the world, and even in India, many beautiful places are there which you did not see or which you like to see. And uh, now we are going to learn about oceans and continents, and also about uh, our country. The earth, first of all, we know the earth is very Huge, so that we cannot see the whole of it at one time. Why? Because the Earth is so huge. Otherwise, the Earth is very big. We cannot see the whole of it at one time. So we have to uh, get some help of it. Some help we have to get in order to see the Earth. For that, we have to. Use or we have to take the help of a globe. You might have seen the globe. Globe. Some uh, students you will have globe at home. Globe is a model of the earth. What is a globe? A globe is a model of the earth. Looking at the globe, we can uh, see the different parts, different countries in the world, and uh, different types of. Uh, Uh, mountains, uh, oceans, everything we can see the see the, uh, with the help of a globe. So, what is a globe? Globe is a model of the earth. As we rotate the globe, now I am not to show you the globe. When you come to the class, I will definitely show you the globe because it may not be so clear. Now, I, if I uh, show the globe, but in your textbook there is a picture of globe. And what we have to do with the globe? We have to rotate the globe in order to see different uh, places on the earth. We have to rotate it. So globe is a model of the earth, and as we rotate it, we can see various places on the earth. So the de uh, definition of the globe. Once again, I repeat, globe is a model of the earth, and as we rotate the globe, we can see different places. On the on the air, if we want to view, we want to see different section of the air. Map also are very useful, like the globe. Map also we can use in order to see different parts of the air. And maps are more useful than globe. Globe is a uh, round object, and we can see. Some parts, but the globe is a uh, like a flat, which is drawn on a flat surface. What is map? Globe already you have learned. Globe is a model of the earth. As we rotate it, we can see different parts of the earth. And what is a map? Map, which is drawn on a flat surface, shows the whole of the earth. On the map, we can even map also you will have its whole. If If not, we can purchase a map and hang on the wall. And whenever you want to see some uh, places on the earth, you can find out. You can just make use of this map which is hung on your wall. We can that will be very useful for you. So, map. What is map? Map is a which is drawn on a flat surface which shows the whole of the earth. So. Globe and a map, which is very useful in order to see the different parts of the earth. A map which could be large enough to hang on a wall. If you have a map, 
it will it should be little large you can hang on the wall or even for the small block if you have even that small block you can put in your pockets and uh, sometimes whenever you get some doubt you can just uh, look at this block that's a difference between map map we, we won't uh, put in the pocket or anything we will hang on the wall even it at your home or in the class we will hang yeah. on the wall map but globe the small one we will get uh, that you can use whenever you want and you can keep in the pockets uh, when you come to the class even you can bring it to the class again a book of map many maps of many countries india's map world map america's map so so many maps together we will get like one book a book of map is called an atlas so you know what is a globe globe is a model of the earth we have to rotate it in order to see different parts of the earth again map what is map map is a the map is drawn on a flat surface in order to see the whole of the earth again a book of map book of map is called an atlas so now you learn what is globe what is map and what is atlas atlas a book of map is called an atlas we want to find a place on a map we should know the four directions if we want to find out a place we should know the four directions now which are the four directions north south east and west i i am sure you know all this north south east and west you should know all these four directions in order to find the place on the map or on a globe as you stand facing a map suppose map is hung on this blackboard you are facing the map at the top it will be north the facing the map the top part will be north and so automatically bottom will be south so as you stand facing a map at the top is the north part and the bottom is south and to your right to your right is the east right you know this part right is the east and left is the west so you should know these four directions in order to find a place on the map that is imagine now you are facing a map the top of the map that is here north bottom south here right east and left west now you know the four directions sailors used a magnetic compass to guide them on their way sailors you know those who travel by ship they use magnetic compass in your textbook there is like a clock one teacher is given there Uh, when you look, you will feel like a clock. As uh, you are at home, you have a clock. Uh, same thing. It is in your textbook also like a clock. In shape, it is like a clock, but it is a magnetic compass which uh, the sailors use in order to find the direction. This is instrument. This magnetic compass looks like a watch and has a needle. You can see that uh, a needle is there. I always point to the knob that the uh, top. You can see this always. The needle points to the north. The compass helps sailors to sail in the right direction. If that compass, magnetic compass, is with them, they will not lose their way. They can move right way, looking at this compass. So you know now the four directions. And this north, south, east, west. In order to remember very easily. I'll tell you a easy way. That is, you might have news, N E W S. That news, that letters, four letters comes from these four directions. You might somebody might have told you, but if you don't know, you should remember that 
early morning we will read the news or we will watch the news that news n e w s comes from this uh, words that is north south west east that is n stands for north e stands for east w stands for west and s stands for south to remember these four directions you have to remember the word news from that four letters you will get the name of four directions north south east west i hope you got it again now we are going to continents actually the lesson is continents and oceans but first i the first part is about this uh, uh, map and uh, globe now continents what is continent india is a subcontinent we know what is continent a land mass of the earth is divided into sections that are shown in different colors on a globe or map they are called a continent that means a land mass of the earth divided into different sections that is called a continents how many continents are there there are seven continents there are seven continents land mass of the earth is called a continent it is divided into different sections and they are called a continents and there are seven continents which are they they are asia africa north america south america europe australia and antarctica i repeat there are seven continents they are asia africa north america south america europe australia and antarctica asia is the biggest continent so if you have test book in front of you you already got the test book many of you so if you have the test book in front of you underline all this and learn the names of this seven continents and asia is the biggest continent underline that and learn it continents are further divided into countries our country india is in asia continent that's why the continent asia subcontinent our country india so once again i repeat what is continent land mass of the earth is called a continent land mass of the earth divided into different sections that is called a continent there are how many continents are there there are seven continents are there there are seven continents are there which are they asia africa north america south america europe australia and antarctica and the biggest continent is asia again we move on to oceans continent now you know what is continent how many continents are there it is the biggest continent and again oceans last class we learned there are Three fourth of the earth is covered by water. If the earth is divided into four parts, in that case, three parts of the earth is covered by water. Only one part only land. So, three fourth of the earth is covered by water. On a map or a globe, the water bodies of the earth appear in blue. When you look at the map or a globe, the blue color. part is water water is marked by blue color very large bodies of water are known as oceans very large bodies of water are known as oceans underline that very large bodies of water are known as oceans and there are five oceans pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean southern ocean and arctic ocean again as you learned seven continents name of the seven continents you have learned the name of five oceans and what is ocean ocean what is ocean land bodies of water are known as oceans land bodies of water are known as oceans there are five oceans which are they pacific ocean 
Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean and Arctic Oceans. A body of water smaller than an ocean is called a sea. Smaller than a water body smaller than ocean is called a sea. So, once again I remind you lesson. What is a globe? Globe is a model of the earth. What is a map? Map is which is drawn on a flat surface which shows the whole of the earth. Yeah. And what is atlas? A book of, book of map is called an atlas. A book of map is called an atlas. And four directions, you know. And I told you to learn the four directions in a very easy way. Four directions, north, south, east and west. Remember the word moose. And again, continents. What is continent? Large landmass of the earth is called a continent. There are seven continents, you know the names. And what is ocean? Large body of water is called a ocean. There are five oceans. So I hope the lesson is clear to you. And you learn, read the textbook. Underline what all things I have told you now. Read the textbook many times. And you underline it and if you have map or globe at home make use of it otherwise and request your parents instead of buying many other toys as birthday gift or any other gifts they can buy and give you one map or one small globe it won't uh, it won't be very expensive but that will be better for you to learn many things. So I hope you understood and if any doubt you can anytime you can ask me, call me and ask any doubt and with this I conclude this week's lesson.